guys, welcome back to my channel. Uh, I'm here with my, I uh, know, with my guests. Uh, introduce yourselves, guests. Hi guys, I am Lee Pedrosa. I'm a fresh, I'm an incoming sophomore in the Ateneo. Hi guys, I'm Martin, and I'm an incoming second year student also in Ateneo. So guys, uh, today we're gonna be talking about yung interview tips natin for those that are up for interviews at Ateneo Law School. Now, um, I'd, I'd like to thank you both for uh, no, having the courage and you know, wanting to share tips for uh, those who are also for interview. Pero I uh, just no, want to preface this, na parang yung mga tao na who got in for interview are not any less of a law student than those who pass straight. So let's just make that clear. Na parang, it's okay if you got in through the interview. It's okay then if you got uh, straight then sa test then. Okay. So what is the interview for, um, Martin or Lay? You can you can answer. Uh, parang someone told me before na if you get in for interview, it's either you you ace the test, but your college, your undergrad or college grades weren't so good, mm -hmm. or your credentials were okay, but you didn't do so well in the exam. That's what uh, someone. Okay. Ako, I heard, parang yung sa, sa general admissions ng mm -hmm. college, na parang they would pass the amount of people they could admit. Mm -hmm. Pero syempre, not everyone will enroll. So, parang they have this line of people na, na ready na, just mm -hmm. in case these people won't, won't, won't enroll. Yeah, okay. Um, if you can tell your interview story, so from the day na yung day ng parang for interview ka, and then kung ano yung nangyari when you got to school and what happened, uh, you, either if you can uh, start. So, so when I got there, uh, they asked me to answer an essay. So it's just one question, subjective essay, mm -hmm. and then I waited. Tapos after no yung interview proper na, so there parang ang method niya is good cop, bad cop. Mm -hmm. Wherein one would be like mataray, ipe-pressure ka, and then the other one would be very encouraging. Mm -hmm. Tapos, all about you lang naman. So it's easy. So long as you're confident, they know that you're genuine. Like, I remembered when I was being interviewed, I was stuttering. Kasi uh -huh. sobrang, <laughs> sobrang kinakabahan ako. Parang, oh my gosh, lawyers tong mga nag-interview sa akin. Sino mm -hmm. ba naman ako, di ba? Tapos, I had a really bad grade pa. Like, I remember I had this one class where I failed. Tapos, they focused there. Parang, mm. bakit ka nag-fail? Ganyan. So, sinagot ko na lang na parang, it was a subject na I already had a hard time in. I think they enjoyed naman. They gave credit for my honesty. Mm. Tapos, towards the end, I remember they asked me, uh, okay, do you have any questions? Tapos, syempre, kinakabahan ako. May time pa ba ako mag-isip? <laughs> so, I told them, wala na po. Tapos, sabi nila, what if like, what if this question would be a reason for admitting you? Then mm -hmm. I just told them that, like, well, I really don't have a question, so I won't force myself. Confidence. Mm -hmm. oh, confidence. Wow. Confidence. Uh, ikaw, Marta, uh -oh. what's, the, what's your story then sa interview demo? Ako, super aga ako dumating sa ano, Ateneo Law School. Tapos maling floor pa yung nag-wait ako sa second floor. <laughs> yung pala... <laughs> Third floor, yung ano, yung uh, office. Yeah. 20 minutes before my interview, kinabahan na ako kasi wala pa yung book pass. Hindi pa bukas yung office and stuff. Mm -hmm. So, nagtanong na ako sa guard, kuya, saan yung ano, admissions office? Tapos, sabi niya, ah, sir, sa third floor po yun. Nasa second floor ka. Pagdating ko doon, pina-write na ako na essay. Tapos, mm -hmm. yung essay, it's not something na technical. It's, it doesn't, I think for me, it doesn't have like a right answer or wrong. Mm -hmm. You need to show them that your mind is not cluttered. You have to know, parang, I think it's a way for them to see how you articulate yourself. The interview is to see how you can articulate yourself orally, but it's different than if it's written. Ako kasi, meron ako inaplay ng school just to prepare for the interview, just to see how, how it goes. So, medyo inexpect ko na yung ibang question. Mm -hmm. And like, ask them kasi ako sa channel ni before. Hi. Uh, oh. <laughs> so, <laughs> if, uh, if hindi niya alam, actually, papakita ko na yan on screen right now. Uh, in one of my vlogs, nagtanong si Martin kung ano yung interview tips. Tapos, binigyan ko siya interview tips. 
And, well, gumana naman kasi second year na siya ngayon, di ba? So, <laughs> baka, baka effective. <laughs> baka ni Mayo. Yeah, same with Lay. Tinanong din nila ako about bad grades. If meron kang panganib na grade back in college, they would ask. Because my undergrad, I had the, I had law subjects. So, they asked about, oh, how could you do well in law school if you have uh, bad grades with your law subjects back in college? Mm-hmm. But, eh, you will encounter these subjects bullet here in law school. So I said na lang na, oh, uh, I think during the summer that I was preparing for the admissions test, I developed study habits and discipline. So I think that would help me in law school. The personal questions then, I think they root then the follow-up questions from the personal question. Kung ano yung answer mo dun, dun nila i-extract yung following question. And yun sabi ni Leigh, you have to ask questions. Sabasa ko lang din online if they ask you if you have any questions, try to ask questions. Ako yung lagi kong ina-ask is what makes you stay in the organization or in the school? Yun lagi yung ina-ask ko. Yung magandang question. Good point, uh, Martin, about that. Kasi yung next question ko is what are the types of questions that were asked during the interview? Sabi nga ni Lee na merong good cop, bad cop na dynamic. So, paano yun nangyayari? Like, one of the questions that... Uh, was common between you two was about, you know, less than good grades in sa college. So, nag-focus in sila that there to rattle you. And I, I guess you handled it greatly naman. Kasi, well, second year na nga kayo. <laughs> Pero ano pa kaya yung mga other questions na tinanong nila? May naalala ba ba kayo? Or, kahit yung hindi question exactly, yung parang type ng question. Well, for me, kasi nakita nila yung undergrad ko, diba? Uh, Benil. So, it's a Lasallian school. So, mm-hmm. they asked immediately, oh, why didn't you apply to the LSU? Kasi mm-hmm. familiar ka now with principles of Lasall- Lasallian core values and stuff. They also asked why I didn't apply for UP Law. Ganun. Mm-hmm. Doon ako narattle out. I didn't expect them na, na they would ask about mm-hmm. why didn't you apply for for yeah, other schools. Pero at that time pala kasi hindi pa ako nag-apply. Pero after the interview, natakot na ako. So nag-apply. So nag-apply. <laughs> Pero super true yung sinabi ni Lay na may good cup, bad cup. Kasi mm-hmm. yung isa talaga nag-interview sa akin, super, wala siyang compassion. <laughs> super <laughs> cold niya sa akin na, ah, patakot. How about you, Lay? May naalala ko bang type Same of... naman. Uh, they asked me about the subject I enjoyed the most because mm-hmm. I was philosophy in undergrad. Mm-hmm. So they made me talk about ethics. Mm-hmm. Tapos they asked me, yun din, same question, why not UP law? Because I went mm-hmm. to UP. Mm-hmm. So, syempre, I told them, because I really want to go to UP. So I told mm-hmm. them, na, well, I'm after the quality of education, not uh-huh. necessarily the, the what school. And sakto rin, that was the time na number one, si Sean Borja sa bar. Yes. So, parang mm-hmm. I told them, recently, you top the bar. So, mm-hmm. that says a lot about your school. That's so, cool. that that makes me want to be part of your school as well. <laughs> um, what are some of the tips that you can give to parang aspiring Ateneo Law students that really helped you and parang looking back, you would tell it to yourself if you were going for the interview again today. Actually, I remember lang now na parang I almost cried mm-hmm. during interview. They also asked me why I want to be a lawyer and like always though, like Martin would know I, I want to be a human rights lawyer from mm-hmm. the beginning. Tapos I cried pa. It's like sobrang makabayan ko kasing tao. I mean, not to belittle those who are unsure entering law school. But always know why you want to be there. Like, make sure na it's in your personality. Like, mm-hmm. know yourself well enough to know what you're getting into. Para may conviction ka pag sumasagot ka. Yeah. True. I agree with Lay. Kasi, syempre yung super out there question is, why do you want to be in law school? And that's what I would always ask myself. Why do I want to be in law school? And it was a hard time composing the answer that I would give when I was practicing. Because then I would really look deep inside me and ask myself, why do I want to be in law school? So that's also my tip for the up, uh, incoming freshman. Uh, know talaga your purpose. Because that's something that you can't, JJ, you can't fool anyone that uh, you're going here because of this. It's, uh-huh. it's hard to make it appear that you're genuine. And also, research on the school, research on Ateneo Law School, what are their, like, what are the institutions inside Ateneo Law School? Because we have the Ateneo Human Rights Center, the Ateneo Legal Services hey. Center. Yes. <laughs> So plug, plug lang, AHRC. plug lang ng konte for AHRC. Uh, and also you have the Tihanti Center. And when they see kasi na you research about the school, they know mm-hmm. na you really 
invested with the application process and you really took time to prepare and preparation in law school I think is always key the ba in recitation yeah. yun that's true okay so that one your one of the tips that you both gave is be confident in who you are and give purpose to why do you want to really go to law school? Because that is the main question in the interview panel. I think another uh, tip that we can actually talk about is your mga personal questions. So if they ask you about what you like, ganon, or what you don't like, may mga ibang tao kasi na sinasabi nila yung parang mga pang impress lang na sagot, you think na they would want to hear. Pero I think yung mas maganda, sasagutin mo na yung mga topic na familiar ka. Kasi kung tinanong ka nila na mag-expound pa, kung hindi mo alam, hindi wala ka nang masasabi. How about yung mindset nyo going into the interview? Parang, were you scared? What were you feeling? And how did you parang, reassure yourself to keep on answering the questions and you know uh, project na may confidence pa rin? Yeah, for sure. I was so scared. Pero kasi nandun yung nanay ko, di ba? <laughs> <laughs> Yun. Kasi I really wanna be a lawyer. Like, after second year college, I already made up my mind. So, parang, hello, ba back out ka pa ba? How yeah. about you, Martin? My mindset that time. Kasi yung dad ko din drive niyo lang ako, tapos iniwan niyo lang. <laughs> Babalikan niya ako after. Hindi ka, so, ka pala mahal eh. Hindi ka mahal. <laughs> <laughs> Sobrang takot lang ako. <laughs> I was scared the whole time waiting for my turn. Kasi mm-hmm. pinaupo pa ako dun sa room. May, may chair in between two rooms na may interview ongoing. Tapos narinig ko yung ibang question. So parang kinakabahan na agad ako. Pero bilang inisip ko na lang, this is what you've always wanted. You uh-huh. prepared so hard for this like the whole summer. Uh-huh. Even before graduating college, you already eyeing for Ateneo Law School. Up, you don't get another chance to uh-huh. be interviewed unless uh-huh. you apply like, you apply again next year. So super desperate ka to get in kasi super hard no admission process. Like, super straight, gano'n. Um, another aspect of uh, the interview, actually, is, well, sabihin na nating factor to, is what you wear. So, ano yung mga sinuot nyo nun? Mga formal ba kayo nun? Or parang smart casual lang? How about you, Martin? Nakatay ka ba nun? Nakasuit? Or... Super, as in power dressing. Kasi nga sabi, sabi ko, ano yun, di ba? I told myself, I won't miss this opportunity. Kasi... I said, I will do everything if I have to wear a ball gown or anything just mm-hmm. to ensure that I get in. So, when I came to the girl before me, she mm-hmm. was wearing super casual clothes like sneakers, wow. jeans, and like major formal polo tops. So, I was like, did she back in college that for interviews, you have to wear uh, best to impress. super formal, business formal. Uh, yeah. So, that's it. I wore something navy blue because they said, if you want to impress, wear something blue. And then uh-huh. I had the tie blue then because it's Ateneo. Oh, uh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> on brand. On brand. I the energy. I was uh-huh. gaming it. Then uh-huh. I had the red tie because it's lucky color, right? Uh-huh. So Chinese yata yung red. Uh-huh. So, and of course, shoes, long socks. Uh-huh. For the guy. Or man, man. Ole, ano yung power dress natin that day? Ano yung... Hindi ako nag-power dress. I ah. kept it business casual. Because that's me. I'm laid back. Mm-mm. Also, because I was gonna go somewhere after that. So, Ay. nakakahiya naman, di ba? <laughs> so, ano lang, parang, may, yeah, may interview lang ako, pero after, may, may gimmicks. Oo. So, yun, Ay, ano, hindi lang, naman super casual. Clothes. Ano lang, parang may blazer naman, or parang formal. No, not blazer. Parang, I was wearing a turtleneck, mm-hmm. tapos na kulot. Mm-hmm. That's my shoes. Yeah, okay. Okay na din yan, actually. Kasi, kahit hindi naman natin sabihin, it, it, it's nice to look good in an interview. And I mean, it really helps you. And, Kailangan confident ka din. So, I mean, when you answer, when you look good, feel good, di ba? <laughs> so, guys, uh, let's let's wrap this up. If you have any final words for those who are about to take their interview or um, parang, parang advice that you would give them, yeah, you could start. <laughs> for me, interview. first is really know that you want this because I think, you know, our professors would always tell us you you don't have to waste four years of your life in law school if it's something that you don't really want. And like first sem is still four months or so and 
you could have been doing something else, something that you're passionate about. And at the end of the day, you're you're gonna be so tired, and it's that it's that purpose that you're gonna clung into, and it will make you continue. And also, in your stay in law school, that same purpose, the same drive, it will deplete, and it would really sometimes it will fade away. Mo ubusan ka ng energy ng inspiration, so you have to discipline yourself to study nonetheless and to go on and move forward because uh, your prof won't care if you had a hard time waking up this morning so you weren't able to finish the coverage or you have personal problems that with uh-huh. your family or your love life they won't care about that and law school is not a child care center <laughs> but just say so uh-huh. it's very forgiving so you have to forgive yourself for for your own lapses and make sure to pick yourself up and go on and make sure to improve on those lapses and fill in the gaps that you missed. Thank you, Martin. How about you, Lee? Any final uh, words of advice for those for interview and for those entering law? Well, it goes hand in hand. Naman. Same with what Martin said. You really need to know yourself. You need to know your why. Because one, like not just for a law school interview, but all interviews, you have to know yourself well enough for you to defend yourself. Yourself. Look at it like thesis. Na parang hindi ka naman sa sabak sa isang defense kung hindi mo alam yung content mo. So, kailangan mo ng matindi-tinding a uh, contemplation, meditation, <laughs> and and same goes with being in law school and becoming a lawyer because it's really hard. Two cents ko lang kami na dito pero sobrang hirap niya na sobrang matrabaho. And being a lawyer is something bigger than yourself. Life will be at stake when you're practicing. Um, policies, a lot of um, judgments na maapektuhan ang buhay ng hindi lang sakita mo, kundi pati rin yung paano yung magiging takbo ng buhay ng ibang tao. So, always keep that in mind and always remember your why. Thank you. Actually, to, so to wrap this up, may nang interview with uh, former Supreme Court uh, Associate Justice uh, Brion. And then he said that uh, the law permeates every aspect of life. And that's a very important thing to keep in mind when you are entering the legal profession because what you do uh, from here on out will really greatly affect a lot of other people. So you have to do it well and you, know, you have to do it to the best of your abilities. So thank you, Martin and Lei, for coming in this vlog and giving the interview tips. Let's say goodbye. And hopefully watch my next video. Subscribe, guys, if you haven't. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you all next episode. Bye-bye.